Hi Tony, hope this finds you well. Just some notes on our first session we had yesterday. Uh, so you warmed up, hit some balls, and we found that you had a pattern of hitting the ball slightly fat, at times slightly thin, with a definite bias towards pulling the ball and slicing the ball. So when we looked at your original swing on the left here, what we found was that your hips and your shoulders, your head, were drifting away from the target as you were making your backswing, a bit like so. So the result of this is that you ended up being too far behind the ball and consequently you were, your low point of your swing occurred too soon. So your club was striking the ground too soon, leading to fat shots. At times you would flex your arms just the right amount and hit a good strike, or other times you would flex the arms too fast to avoid crashing into the ground and that's when you'd have the thin shots. For a definite tendency towards those pulls, low point too far back. So what we did is discuss some of the things you could do in order to correct this. So we talked about on the screen on the right how you would turn your feet outwards, knees outwards, and that during the backswing your left knee would flex towards the laces and vice versa, the opposite for your right knee which would extend away from the laces. So this would enable your hips to stop drifting away from the target. So we started off doing this without a golf ball, so we just drew a line on the ground and try to ensure that you could strike the ground further forwards, like so. Good. So you can see the divot on the ground occurs after the line we draw. Toes, knees. Good. We then started doing this with the golf ball. So notice how when you strike the ball now, it's ball contact first then divot and as you were doing this continue doing this and you can clearly see the divot there after the ball you were starting to see a change in the ball flight starting to draw the ball and because it was less of a glancing blow at impact turning your 7-9 into a 9-9 you were now getting uh, more distance out of your shots for what you qualified as less effort nice see the draw Then one of your last swings, and a nice strike. So let's just have a look at this one in slightly more detail. So let's draw the same lines as on the screen on the left. So the orange line for where the hips are, the yellow line for the head, and here when you make your back swing, So you can see that your head stays nicely centered between your feet, your hips haven't drifted backwards and if you look at yourself from this view you look a bit like a tripod. Then coming down, we didn't discuss these things but they happen as a result of the knee um, moves you are carrying out, as a result of the knees being turned outwards. So here you can see how your lead knee, your left knee, is slightly in front of your left ankle, so that's starting to indicate that the weight is shifting forwards throughout your swing, as opposed to when we look at your original swing on the picture on the left, we'll see that as you're coming down, the left knee, left hip, never really gets in front of the ankle, so your weight never really transfers forwards enough, and consequently that's why we see your club coming down here and being too close to the ground too soon, so low point too soon. Nicely extended at the finish here on the right. So all in all some really good moves. So uh, well done on today, on yesterday even, and keep me posted and I look forward to our next session together. Well done.